President Muhammadu Buhari has said he led Nigeria to greatness as the head of a junta in the 1980s. Buhari maintained that he used his fight against corruption and indiscipline to reassert Nigeria's role as a force amongst nations. As military head of state, I fought corruption headlong and head public officers who abused their officers, offices or misused Nigeria public funds to the accounts. Mr. Buhari said at an anti-corruption meeting in Abuja on Monday, he said, I introduced the war against indiscipline of one of whose cardinal objectives was to promote ethical conduct, integrity, and hard work. In 1984, I recognized, as I do now, what corruption poses a clear danger to Nigeria, he said. So we cannot relent in efforts to eradicate it in all its ramifications. As I have often reminded Nigerians that if we do not kill corruption, corruption will kill Nigeria. Mr. Buhari's claim to integrity has long been a major selling point of his personality. It was a key campaign strategy that his handlers adopted to secure his victory against an incumbent, the first for the country. Although Mr. Buhari sees his military days a better era for Nigeria, many Nigerians have spoken extensively of his brutish approach to policy making. Citizens were flogged by soldiers and other state agents for not respecting a queue. Why a decree saw many journalists and critics jailed for writing stories or passing remarks that embarrassed a government official. But since Azumi office, the president has been dogged by multiple allegations of corruption, nepotism, and ineptitude that has characterized the country. Several of his top aides have been questioning from the country, and in many cases, the president failed to take action. Just earlier today, the Gazette published a detailed account of how the state security service has been conducting secret and uneven recruitment. Nigerians have widely condemned the SSS following the Gazette's publication, but said they cannot expect the president to take a concrete action this time because secret police was enmeshed in a similar scandal in 2017 and it did not do anything. Nonetheless, Mr. Buhari insisted that his administration commit, is committed to rebuilding the nation. Also, in my inaugural speech in 2015, I affirmed my administration's determination to rebuild and reform the public service to become more effective and serviceable, the president said. I charge public servants to apply themselves with integrity to stabilize the system and solicited the cooperation of the legislature to maintain their brief of making laws and carrying out oversight functions. Hmm. Well, guys, let us know what you think about uh, the boasting of the president. You know, when you are advising people to, you know, to try to emulate or try to show uh, this uh, level of integrity, when people are not paid, when people are not well remunerated, when people's standard of living is zero, somebody will work for one month, two months, three months, six months, the person is not being paid and the person cannot stay back at home. How do you expect the person to feed himself and the family? Where do you expect the person to get money from? If not, the person... One thing is that if the person does not borrow, the person will resort to stealing. And who is going to borrow? You are going to go and borrow from somebody who does not have. Or you want to go and borrow it from somebody who even have that has a little. And the person knows that uh, there is no hope of paying back. The person will not borrow you. The person will not lend you the money. And what are you going to be left with? Which option are you going to be left with? You are going to be left with the option of stealing. You know, when you talk about integrity, it is not meant for everybody. Some things must be put in place. When people have been taken care of very well, then when you are preaching integrity, t- talking about uh, you know doing the right thing, be law-abiding, and people are not doing that, then you can come out and say, oh, since we have done all of these things for you, yet you still don't want to cooperate with us. 
that is a uh, that is understandable but a situation by nothing is happening you the, the the children at home they are not eating no food and you expect the children not to sit and you expect the children not to cry ha i don't understand but meanwhile you as an adult whether you have taken care of yourself or maybe you have the stamina to withstand the the hunger and the distress you tell the children to do the same thing it's not going to happen they can be preaching all these ones because they are overfed they overfed then why is it that uh, the the indiscipline and the nepotism, the corruption is talking about? Why is that we are not seeing results now? And it's even relative because people will sit tell you in those those times, those who were really conversant with what happened, then they will sit tell you, no, 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 no. All of those things now, now wash. Why was he overthrown? Because some things were not right, and and a lot of people fell for that narratives oh yes when it was this it was that and at the end of the day like i said it's really relative because some people come and tell you that oh he was not the one in charge somebody else was in charge because now that he has come on his own to do the needful you know everybody begins to see the loopholes because a lot of people have even come out to confess that oh the way the administration was run then that that is the reason why they have that a uh, confidence and that trust that oh this man is going to do uh, the right thing but at the end of the day, we are now seeing that uh, it's a different book mentality. And, you know, the president is always, is always he, he likes making excuses that, ah, uh, this and that, you know, he loves, to, he loves and likes to blame others for his own mistakes and failures. At some point in time, he came out and said, yo, I wish he was still young, <laughs> meaning that he, he cannot do much. And now he's, he had boasting of that time. But what of now? Why are you not boasting about now that you are still alive that you are boasting why is it that you cannot do the same well hmm, not you but idi agmo did <laughs> just like i said some people believe that it was an idi agmo that you know gave that uh, the the regime the integrity it had self praise is no achievement baba buari nigeria is gone you have already killed nigeria with corruption baba <laughs> When he said, if uh, we don't kill corruption, corruption will kill us. And meanwhile, all those people who are stealing under him, he's not saying anything. So is that how to fight corruption? Is that how to fight corruption? When it it's involves other people, oh, you, they will flex their muscle. But when it comes to their own people that are close to them, they will, they will behave as if they, they don't know anything. You are fighting corruption, and we, we have seen a lot of instances. Those who are close to you, they kind of... The way they are behaving, the way they are acting impunity, with impunity. Have you said anything? So, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? So, guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below concerning what the president has said that he did this, he did that in 1984.